welcome back I am on the same page now we can just uh, simply we change something over here uh, in this in this inside this form so we can update that using a query update query so here is it these things are ok product title product KTTC very simply I will remove these all things now I will give it a name like update product this local variable and write the query over here so we will say update products and set product underscore uh, cat is equal to this cat which is coming product cat which is coming again now in, and we are saving that is that this variable that is coming from the I mean from this using this form here you are given product underscore cat name so that will come and we will we'll say we have saved already that into this local variable and this is the same form basically uh, we created for inserting the product but we use this because to just save times we can change the FS set as well to update product because we have changed this or here in the inside the submit button now update product set uh, category product gate to this thing and then comma product underscore brand to this one product uh, brand which is coming in this local variable and after that uh, we need to check the third one is basically the product underscore title we'll say product underscore title to with this one I mean product title itself is a variable and then again single comma and then product underscore price will be equal to coming product underscore price variable then comma and we need to see after the product there is product underscore description product underscore desc is equal to will be equal to this one product description and then product underscore image will be is equal to this coming image product underscore image this one we are getting over here and the last one will be something like product underscore keywords if some if we have changed the keywords that will also we will update them product underscore keywords now where product underscore ID because we don't we do not want to update all the products at once in using this query we do not specify the where condition I mean in the where condition we do not specify the uh, product ID then we can have some problems so where product ID uh, we need to now use this ID which is here pro ID will create another variable or here and we'll say update update underscore ID is equal to pro ID pro underscore ID that's it we'll say because we have this ID already we'll say where product ID is equal to update ID this one that's it control s to save and after that uh, everything is now fine I mean other things are okay now we will just change this uh, 
update product run product change this as well to update product because we have changed now these variables and we will say if run uh, product is done then we will just change this one to product has been updated this is an alert in javascript and also we have redirected the page so we will just uh, change this get variable to view underscore products so it will come to the same page I mean the viewing products page from here uh, when we click that's it now we need to check this thing we have a product over here already we are just now we need to just refresh the page and this is something camera we'll say something camera one two three very simple you know so and we'll change the picture of this camera to something else we'll make it uh, this big camera this one or this one this one okay now the other things are okay just yes, something camera one two three and this image is also changed now update we'll click update product and it is not taking us to anywhere we actually need to remove this action insert underscore product because the reason is because uh, we actually have included this page I mean edit underscore product dot PHP page we have included this inside the index page so this is going to its own page I mean uh, insert product we did not remove this before but now we have removed this control is to see because we don't need this we do not want to uh, uh, let the page to any other place so therefore once again I will come back we will refresh the page and we'll add something camera one two three we'll change the image to this one and simply I will click update product it is saying product has been updated I will say ok and you can see here this was the product something camera one two three in the image has also been changed now we can change this one as well I mean the HP new laptop you so click edit product HP laptop one two three we'll just give that name change the name and we'll just add this laptop I mean the black one so now we can once again click update product product has been updated ok now you can see this is black laptop and HP new uh, laptop 123 and if you, you also uh, refresh your home page I mean the main website you will see something camera 123 and uh, HP new laptop 123 that's mean if we update anything from using this admin panel that's mean things will be changed here as well on this main website because this is directly uh, linked to that your product so in next video we will work on this uh, delete pro uh, product option that is very easy so we can do it easily and after that we will go to insert product page insert category pa uh, section stay tuned